Okay folks, I've gotten a lot of questions about home wireless routers, how to hook them up and things like that. So it's very easy and I'm going to kind of walk step by step through the process and show you what to do. It's not really hard, doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, just a few things you got to hook up right mainly is, is the first thing and uh, get in place before you, you know, actually get on the internet with it. And really that's all there is to it. So. With that, let's get started. And what I've got here is a is a Buffalo router. I'll turn the box around where I can open it up here. And you'll see the box comes with the power adapter. Mm, cables. This one comes with an Ethernet cable. And a base so you can stand it upright. Now, also, on this side we've got CD. And the instruction guide with the uh, two wireless antennas right there. Now in here we've got the router. Let me get it open here. Okay, I've got it open out of the box. You can see there it is. There's uh, basically what most any of them are going to look like. This is Pretty small one compared to some of the others. Got the two ports there on the top for the antennas. And this one has two antennas. Some of them have one. Some will have three, depending on your setup. So you just just screw the antennas into those jacks right there. And uh, pretty much either one will fit either jack. And then here's a look at your lights on the front. That AOSS there is for a uh, single button. You can see the button right there on the front. Little push button right here where you can set up uh, kind of a one-click setup for devices. I don't like to use it, but it, you know, I just because I know how to do it the other way. But it is doable, and it does work. You can uh, basically install the software on your laptop or whatever, and basically you click the button on the router, and then click the button on your laptop, and the two talk to each other and configure themselves. So uh, Then we got power, and this usually be a green light. Security usually will come on if you have... Uh, security enabled like WPA, WPA2, something like that, which I highly recommend uh, for reasons I'll talk about in a little bit. Wireless lights up if your wireless radio is turned on. Router shows that if you've got the internet link, uh, like back to your DSL modem or cable modem. Diag uh, probably comes on, I'm not sure at this particular model, but generally they come on and flash if there's a problem with the router. Okay, so that's a kind of overview of the lights. Of course, I don't have it plugged in right now, so no power, so you won't see anything lit up. Now, this is the important part. On the back of these guys, and all of them are just about the same in this regard. Some may have more ports than others, but they're all going to have one port. See this blue guy right here that stands out from the others? And some of them are going to be, maybe have a blue port, and the rest of them will be yellow in this case, you got one blue and one, two, three, four black. Okay? So, what you have to do, your cable modem, basically you think of it as kind of one in, four out. So that's really a bad way to think about it because it's not in and out because data is flowing both ways. So it's kind of hard to tell which way is in and which way is out in that regard. But you've got one connection to the outside world and then you've got four connections to your internal network with your computers plus your wireless. So you, you've actually got five connections. The four ports you see here plus the wireless, which you can have, you know, more connections than you would actually need in a home environment in most small businesses as well. Anyway, so this blue guy right here is going to hook to your cable or DSL modem. Okay, you have an Ethernet port coming right now from, if you don't have a router hooked up, you have an Ethernet port coming from your DSL modem straight into your computer, into your network card in your computer. And it, it looks like a wide phone jack. It's going to have eight contacts in it. Maybe I can get this where you can see the eight pins if it'll focus on me here. And it's not wanting to really do. Maybe you can see in there. But there's eight. There we go. There's eight pins in there if you count them. Okay, this differentiates from a telephone jack or something like that. Uh, smaller jacks that are going to have four pins. These are RJ45, the telephone's RJ11, these guys are RJ45, which have eight pins, and that's going to be your network connection. Okay, that one, 
that's going into your computer now from your router. Basically what you need to do is just shut your computer down and unplug the power from your modem. Okay, and then plug the Ethernet port, or uh, uh, plug, unplug it from your computer and take the end that went into your computer before, plug it into this blue guy here. Okay, then what you're going to do is take this included RJ45 cable here, see that guy in the package, and plug it into one of these four ports here. To make it simple, you can plug it into the one labeled one, and these should be labeled and they are they're labeled kind of hard to see but this top one up here toward toward the right side is port one but it, it doesn't matter you can plug it into any one of the four then what you're going to do is and then you know plug the other end of that guy once it's plugged into here plug it into your computer okay so simple change out you got so now you have a cable ethernet cable coming from your DSL or cable modem if you have cable internet into this blue guy here and then you have the cable that came in the box plugged into one of these guys here and the other end of it going into your computer and you can also use these other four ports if you want to plug in a uh, network printer or another switch something like, like that like in my house I use all four of these guys I've got my um, home computer on one with a modem sitting at I've got a cable connecting to a switch where my TV in the living room's at and my DVD player and all that good stuff. And I've got a adapter box for my alarm system. And something else is in the fourth one. I forget what that is, but they are all tied up. I think I've got a uh, external storage device, something like that. But anyway, uh, you may not necessarily use all these. You may only use one, and that's fine. If you just have one computer and then wireless laptops, you know, you'll just be using one of these ports. So what you want to do after you everything's connected up go ahead and power up your cable modem your DSL modem let it come up and then apply power to this guy right here by plugging in to this port here with the included AC adapter there so that guy plugs into right there and into the wall so once your cable modem comes up plug this guy in let it come up and it'll boot up you'll see lights come on the front flashing which I'll show you later and once it comes on up, then you will do the next steps, log on to your computer. You can either run this CD that kind of will walk you through the setup and configuration and all that. If you're really new to doing this, I suggest using that. There is another way to do it through your internet browser. Okay, I went ahead and uh, set the router up with the antennas. You see the two antennas went right there. And a little base so it stands up which is the way I'm going to install it in the particular customer's house. So it uh, basically gets the, the antenna signal up a little bit higher and just, you know, get it away from surrounding wires and things like that. Helps it out a little bit. But you can also do this guy like this. You take the base off, of course, but then you can flip these antennas up here. And it will sit flat with the base off, like I say. Sit flat on the desk like that, and that's perfectly acceptable too. So next we'll get into actually uh, load up the computer and get this guy configured.